politicized. That's the unfortunate truth. I have an added question to you, Salman. Where is Rahul Gandhi going to contest from? The BJP is finalizing 100 to 155 candidates, if not today, by this weekend. Rahul Gandhi has been asked by our own ally in the India bloc, the left, to please leave Bayanad. He doesn't seem to be returning to Amethi. Now there's talk that he may go to Telangana. The BJP says there isn't a place for Rahul Gandhi to contest from. Please do respond. Uh, but he'll respond for uh, he'll, he will uh, uh, contest from wherever we want him to contest so please uh, uh, relax we will tell you when the time is right because whenever whenever the time is right we will tell you and maybe maybe you contest from Varanasi who knows we haven't decided yet we will see I mean, now, you know he's not going to contest. You know he's not going to contest from Varanasi. I mean, that's you're just making a rhetorical point. I, I'm just I'm just saying that why why be impatient uh, when the time is right you will you will know it like everybody else. Now, as far as as far as uh, 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 can I allow, know, can I allow Shahzad a, a ten second intervention and then I promise you the floor is yours and then Yashwan. Ten seconds, Shahzad. Yeah, Shahzad. Uh, so let's call Salman and me back on Barkha's great show with Yashwan as the testifier or the witness. If Rahul Gandhi has the guts, forget to contest from Varanasi to contest from Uttar Pradesh. His mother has, uh, she has used health reason to go away from Raibareli. And we've seen the Rahul effect in the Uttar Pradesh elections, in the Raj Sabha elections. I request you, Barkha, that you as our witness and Yashwant as our witness, please invite us on the day Rahul's ticket is announced. I request you. Okay, done. We you have know, a date. You know, okay. I will, I will just say... Now. Yeah, so yeah. I will just say this. You know, uh, uh, just on uh, women in general, you know, uh, the BJP has a very shameful record. We know that. I mean, the fact that their their workers went and garlanded Bilkis Banu's rapists and killers. And you can put up the Shah Jahan guy. I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, uh, if he's a despicable person, that he's been arrested. How, who cares? How can I mean, you not know who he is? Now, how can you not know who he is? No, I mean, what I'm saying is that he's he's been arrested, right? I mean, it's not like it's not like BJP people going and garlanding, uh, uh, you know. Uh, I think one thing we can we can uh, uh, you know, say is that uh, what Shahzad likes putting these things up. He distracts the viewers. It's a tactic. It's not a good tactic, Shahzad. By the way, when you're having a serious discussion, it, it looks childish. You look like a, a child, by the way, right? So, as, uh, so Bilkis Bano's rapist garlanded, right? This uh, data such as other guy, he's been paroled seven times by the Haryana government in the last one year. Seven times. Because he gets them votes. Let's be let's be honest. They don't care about women. If they cared about women, then they would not say, if, uh, uh, why do you why, why do you not come out when it's a Hindu woman? Is the Hatraski Beti was she not Hindu? Are Dalits not Hindu? Did Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi not go out all out, all out for for that uh, girl who was cremated without dignity? Okay. They should be ashamed. But anyway, let me tell you about something else entirely. You know, you must be wondering why, you know, what's the reason why I feel that these guys are not coming back? You know, they talk about humne ye ki, humne toilets di, humne growth ko yaha puchaya, we're the fastest, we're the biggest economy, this thing and that thing. One thing, you need two things to keep in mind. One, per capita income growth, per capita income growth, not Overall growth, per capita income, per person growth, 58% during Mr. Modi's time, 58% in his nine years, first nine years, because 10th year data is still coming out. Manmohan Singh, 180%, 180%, three times, cannot compete. Forget that. Then the next part is the quality of growth. Is this growth, is it shared? Or are the fruits of the of your labor as a country, are they being cornered by certain sections? There's plenty of evidence in this country. If that was not happening, you would not have to give 80 crore people free okay, food. I have that is what is happening in this country. You that are, is what that is what is going to happen to them in this election, mind you. you are and by the way, one win. more thing, one more thing, Barkha, because you gave Shahzad plenty of time. One more thing. If Prime Minister Narendra Modi is so incorruptible, if he's such an honest person, I challenge him to return all the money that they collected through illegal electoral bonds. We will do. I challenge him. Will he, will he, uh, will he uh, dish out those six, uh, 6,500 dollars? And by the way, one more thing. These are the people who stole 
an election in front of television cameras. They're going to employ all sorts of media in public institutions and everything to steal this election. But we will fight them. We'll fight them now. We'll fight them okay, tomorrow. I, we'll fight them for years. We will fight them. We will I not let them. Minutes, I have three minutes left on the program. So I'm going to go to Yashwant and then give Shahzad the last word. And Yashwant, let's briefly talk about what the opposition is holding on. Uh, to be the north-south divide. Your own survey does show uh, that that while uh, the BJP does very handsomely uh, in the north, in states like Bengal, it's snapping at the heels of the Trinamool Congress. In the southern states outside of Karnataka, uh, it continues to be an opposition bloc uh, dominated alliance. Now, my question to you is the prime minister has a mission south. It's quite clear. Uh, he's just returned from Tamil Nadu with Anamalai by his side uh, on stage. He's praised Jai Lalita from stage. It's something very interesting thing going on there. Just a quick uh, thought on that and then I'll give Shahzad the closing word. Yashwant. Hang on Yashwant, I need to unmute you. Can we unmute Yashwant? Go ahead Yashwant. Hi, one thing is for sure, Barkha, that the way uh, the Prime Minister and his deputy, both of them, they operate is that they give equal, uh, you know, let's say, uh, attention or their their, their 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 entire attention span, not just in terms of resources, but also their own personal physical presence on the ground, even in the states where BJP is not really likely to do good. Sometimes it feels like zarurat kya hai. But you see, it's also driving home a message, driving home a narrative. When the prime minister goes down hammering in Tamil Nadu all the way, we feel that it's messaging only for Tamil Nadu. No, but he's driving home a point somewhere in Bengal, somewhere in UP, somewhere in Bihar and everywhere all along. So the thing is, uh, this 24-7 campaign is a location. Uh, it's not location specific. It's a, uh, uh, it's something which is very well designed and, and very well thought of. It's the 24-7 political machinery and thought process. Now, very briefly, Bakha, इनसे लड़ने के लिए आपको वैसे ही 24 घंटे की सात दिन की 365 दिनों की पॉलिटिक्स सोच में और फिजिकल प्रेजेंस में करनी पड़ेगी छुट्टियां मना करके आप इनसे लड़ नहीं सकते आई एम सॉरी आई मीन नो पन इंटेंडेड इन दैट बट द वे द प्रॉब्लम इज देयर इज एन इमेज ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट ही इज वर्किंग हार्ड ही इज अ हार्ड वर्किंग गाय वर्क्स 24/7 ठीक है अपनी पॉलिटिक्स करता होगा बट उसकी मेहनत से कोई इंकार नहीं कर सकता देन अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर राहुल गांधी हिज इमेज बाय अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंडियंस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इज सीन एज अ पर्सन हु इज प्रोबेबली नॉट फिट फॉर पॉलिटिक्स वेरी नाइस डिसेंट पर्सन बट प्रोबेबली नॉट रियली फिट फॉर द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ टुडे सो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच ही हैज टू काउंटर एंड आई थिंक 3 मंथ्स इज टू लेस अ टाइम राइट नाउ to counter overcome and do this but at the same time before at the same time you do not believe the prime minister's sort of uh, card rousing target of 400 is realistic i think you've called it improbable not impossible well right but when 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 funny funny stats in prime minister's call for ab ki bar 400 par i was looking at my mot number or current strength of the parties in the parliament barka इस समय तीन सौ है बीजेपी की और तीस है अलायंस पार्टनर्स की और जब प्राइम मिनिस्टर कहते हैं कि अब की बात चार सौ पर तो कहते हैं कि वो तो ठीक है लेकिन तीन सौ सत्तर भाजपा को यानी अलायंस की हिस्सेदारी भी अभी भी तीस लोगों की है और उस समय पर भी तीस ही लोगों की है थ्री सेवेंटी एंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सो आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी वेरी गुड कॉल very good call to prepare your cadre so that they are not complicit and that's another thing by the way barka we must keep in mind that 2004 happened because of the complicity of the bjp and if at all we can see these people at this point of time are everything but not complicit that's what we okay. look at. that that that's a good point shahzad let me give you the last words two questions there the 400 target is it purely rhetorical to the opposition does keep emphasizing the north south divide the prime minister spending a lot of time uh, in the southern states last word to you when we said ki do nishan do pradhan do vidhan nahi chalenge nahi chalenge aur wo kashmir jahan balidan hue mukherjee wo kashmir pura ka pura hamara hai were we kidding it was not nara this is not garibi halt out type nara it is our niti 
similarly when we said ram lalla hum aayenge mandir wahi banayenge that time also many cynics not yashwan bhai many cynics said nahi ho payega kaun kaise karenge ye log ho hi nahi sakta jab humne bola 370 ko laat maar ke girayenge they said impossible hum log jo hai matlab khoon ki nadiya bahegi कंधा देने वाला कोई नहीं होगा सब उनके साथ है आजकल तो दे ऑल थॉट दीज वर नाराज वी मेड इट अ हकीकत बिकॉज मोदी जो है वो पूरा करने की गारंटी भी लेता है केवल गारंटी नहीं देता